and welcome back to Icarus Lobster Tales. I'm Scott, and today we are here unfolding the tale of Tales of Symphonia, part 24. Uh, if you missed last time, go ahead and check the link in the description. It's going to be the playlist. Pull up the one you missed and give it a watch. It is worth your time. I assure you, this is an excellent story. Some great storytelling from Namco Bandai here and Tales of Symphonia. Uh, last time we were in Meltokyo and we were just exploring the city, finding out what to do next. We met up with Zealous, and now from here on out we're going to see where we're going. I'm pretty sure it is the Imperial Research Academy. But let us find out here. 15 hours and 19 minutes. Load game data from memory card and slot A. Yes! Alright, we're in the hotel. Let's check out who we have. Ooh. Lots of TP missing here. Maybe I'll, I'll, I'll spend a night in the hotel. Let's see. Sanctus Cassius. One night is 300 gold. Would you like a room? Uh, sure. 300 gold doesn't sound outrageous. I mean, it's not great. It used to be like 100. Uh, Cyback, where we're headed next, is a wonderful city. Really? What kind of place is it? Perhaps because the Imperial Research Academy is there, it's always been a city with great passion for education and research. That doesn't sound wonderful at all. Really, I think it sounds like a marvelous city. Doesn't it, though? It's just packed with intellectual girls. Oh, this guy. That faint, sensual charm of intelligent women. I should have known. Yeah. Zelos is an in-depth character. You're gonna learn that he has one depth. Just one. And it has to do with ladies. But he's a funny character, really. Please take care. Alright, you got it. Let's just bounce out of here. We've got Zealous with us. Uh, this is a really cool thing. Zealous. And we're gonna look at his X skills here, because I think he has it equipped from the beginning. Personal. May receive items when Zealous speaks to a female. This is uh, a pretty cool... So here I am, Zealous, right? Uh, this is a lady... Hello, madam. Oh, my now. Now, chosen one. Acquired a Melange Gel for free. Just because I talked to her. So, uh, it's a good way to get items when you need them. But, we're not going to diddle around here in Tokyo. We spent the whole last episode here. Uh, so, we're just going to head straight to Cyback. Uh, yeah. Alright. Crossing the Grand Tithayon Bridge here. We're gonna make our way to the research academy because if you recall we are trying to find out information about the crucius crystal so that we can help poor colette here regain her heart she lost it if you missed it please go back and watch those are good episodes big story chunks of meat there whoa that bridge is huge or it's a huge bridge one of the two listen and be amazed bumpkins this is the greatest drawbridge in the world it connects the continents of Altamira and Fuji. Its control system incorporates 3,000 X-spheres. 3,000. 3,000! I can't remember Jesus' voice. 3,000 human lives. Hmm? What? What's wrong with those faces? I suppose we'd better tell you. That's a pretty sobering story. Is that really true? Do you think we'd make something like that up? Oh well, even so, it's not like the dead are going to come back to life at this point. It's always best to look on the bright side of things, Zelos. I can't tell if he's a positive thinker or just doesn't care about anything. Since we're on the subject, you and Persea both have x spheres too. Does everyone have x spheres in this world? It doesn't sound like that the way Sheena talked about them. Hmm, nope. I got this from these guys who call themselves the Renegades. The Renegades. They distributed quite a few of them to Sheena and the Palpal Knights and such. And Perseia? Uh, beats me. Well, little one? She's so talkative. Alright. Welcome, chosen one and travelers from Silver Ant. Here it comes. The manor is growing thin. Please be careful. You call this thin? Then Silver Ant must be dried up husk. Wait, who is this guy even? 
The Grand Tithalon Bridge is a giant structure that is the pride of Tithala. It was built so that it, that it can open up when the large ships need to pass. I still have no idea who he is, why he knows we're from Silver. That seems like a pretty big uh, kept secret. And also, we just got here. Grotesque. That's one word for it. Alright, nicknames, huh? Well then, I'd like to take this opportunity to decide everyone's nicknames. What are you talking about all of a sudden? You can call me Mr. Zelos. Perseo will be little one. Colette is Miss Angel. Lloyd is Hey You, and Genus is Brat. Gee, you must have spent- uh oh, don't mention it. And then Rain will be Gorgeous Ultra Cool Beauty. I don't want to be called something like that. Huh, well then, Her Highness, Zelos, you go up with something a little more normal? The professor is the professor. What else would she be? Hmm, hmm. Professor. It does have a nice ring to it. The bewitching female teacher. <laughs> okay, fine. Whatever. I don't care anymore. Okay, then. Professor Rain it is. Whatever. Poor Rain. She does not want any of this from Zelos. Grand Tethyol Bridge is called that for a reason. It's because it is two miles long. I think I fall asleep between here and the end of it. Oh, almost done though. Or are we? Never know with the Tethyol Bridge. I uh, changed colors. Means we're getting close. Azette and Colette. Azette, what about it? I have a feeling I've heard that name before. You're sure you aren't thinking of Colette? Ozette and Colette sound kind of the same, you know? Ow! You didn't have to hit me. Lloyd is not a smart guy. But, who? I don't know. I think Ozette and Colette sound kind of similar, Professor. To the field. Let's head it to Cyback. Uh, similar. Are we going to talk about Ozette and Colette? Look, these two kind of look... Uh, they Don't they look similar? You think so? They hardly ever smile, you know. A girl's just not the same without a pretty smile. Colette can't smile, even if she wanted to. So don't say a thing. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Sheesh, touchy, touchy. Okay. Oh, think I see Cy back. Here we go. Enter. Bum, 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 bum. I hate this city. Hurry, to Azet. I'm sorry, Perseia. Wait a minute, little one. We'll be done in a jiffy, right, Lloyd? Yeah, I'm sorry. Poor Perseia. The university town of Cybeck. Oh, lady? Hi, you're charming. You know what to say to a lady. Acquired 820 bucks. This is a dude. I'm engaged in research to increase the potency of x -fears. Wow, reading is hard. Now with the advancement of x research as non-human subjects, I don't think it's necessary to spend much time researching key crests. Well, that's where you'd be wrong. Honey, how are ya? Hello, handsome. Acquired 770 gold. Ooh, welcome. This is the variety goods shop. Let's do supplies. We offer customization here. Uh, ooh, can I craft the Cotessa, though? Let's check. So I don't want to buy it. Variety goods. Customization shop. I can craft the Cotessa, but I don't have it. Right, we can craft two of these. Let's do it. And now we'll buy the Katessa. I don't actually think we use the Ogre Swords at all. But we're still gonna buy this. Uh, we'll buy the Mithra Ring. Ooh, Aqua Brand. Buy that for him. Battle Axe. Alright, now let's equip everybody. Slash. All right. Please come again. Imperial Research Academy lies ahead. It's the ultimate thin tank where intelligent people from all around the world gather. All right, we need to get into it so we can learn 
about the Crucius Crystal. Hey there. I missed you, honey. Well, I never. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not used to being hit on. So she gives us tuna. Mm -mm -mm, tuna. All right, here we go. The Imperial Research Academy in Cybac. Yo, there should be word here from Maltokyo. Ah, uh, chosen one. We've been waiting for you. Please, come this way. Upon receiving the report of Colette's symptoms, we focused our attention on research data regarding the Chosen's Crucius Crystal. Well now, so my crystal was useful? When Colette returns to normal, I think... Uh, I need to make sure she thanks me generously. This guy's creepy. Crucius Crystals are thought to be evolved forms of X-Sphere. Both X-Spheres and Crucius Crystals are lifeless beings. What did you say? Lifeless? What? Lifeless beings. How should I put it? Basically, x are alive, though not in the same way we are. Yes, both of these crystals are like parasites fusing with other life forms. Parasites. That's not a very pleasant thought. Mm. When this happens, the mana within the body loses balance and goes out of control without a key crest. So that's why x without key crests turn people into monsters. Exactly. In other words, since Crucius Crystals possess the same qualities as x we surmise that Colette is suffering from a parasitical infection by the Crucius Crystal. I see, which in case, the ritual of releasing the seals may be promoting the fusion with the Crucius Crystal. Fascinating. Professor, I don't... Don't talk like that after all the bad things that keep happening to Colette. Colette obtained the title, Ill-Fated Girl. Ill-Fated. Then if she had a key crest, she'd return to normal, right? Yes, she should be able to freely control the Crucius Crystal if she had a key crest. A key crest, huh? I wonder if we can get one somewhere. I don't know where to go! I know exactly where to go. Well, let's talk to some people. I came to get materials to use in my experiments, but apparently this room is now being used for food storage. Alright. Is there items in here? I really don't remember. I'm not being a snarky. I don't think there are. Okay, okay. I'm stuck. Oh, there is an item, but it's not. All right, now I remember. I recall. Stop. All right, honey, how are you? Ma, you're certainly out of place here. Are you escorting someone today? Oh, a rune bottle. I like it. I like it a lot. It's pretty hefty. Actually, let's see. Items. Uh, rune bottle. I have two rune bottles. Do we have any... Okay, I don't want to use a rune bottle on anything we have here. I want to wait to use it on some herbs. Uh, what a rune bottle does is it transforms an item. So if you use the rune bottle on an apple gel, it would turn into a lemon gel, which is twice as uh, effective. Uh, but an herb, if you have a, like a red sage herb, it grants you, I don't remember the specifics, but it's like one, it adds one to your HP or your attack. But if you use a rune bottle, it adds five. So I'm going to save it. Oh, this isn't worth this I'm going to save it until I get some sage or some, like, rosemary. I think it's just weird herbs. We don't need anything right now. I talked to the wrong person. What's this place? All you're selling is junk. It's marvelous. This is just marvelous. Oh, this ancient magic technology. Carbon. There she goes again. All right, come on. Let's look for something that looks like a key crest. Like that magically red glowing orb that happens to be a key crest. What? You want this piece of junk? Yeah, how much? Mm, let's see. 10,000 gold. Ooh. Taking advantage of people in need? This is a business, after all. I don't know what this voice is for. Okay, okay. Call the one responsible for this bazaar right now. I'll make sure you can't do business anymore. Well, who are you? You've got some guts to be ignorant of the great Zelos, the Chosen. Chosen? Uh, please take this junk. Uh, I humbly offer up this to you. So please forgive me. Good, good. I like your attitude. I'll remember you. 
Thanks, Zealous. It was nothing. It was for my cutie Colette. Okay, I'll borrow a lamp at the Academy and fix it. Let's go back to the Academy. Back and forth, up and down, left and right. Let's talk. Sorry to bother you, but can I borrow a lab? He wants to make a key crest. Uh, oh, chosen one, please make use of that room you were in earlier. All right, let's see if we can't remember which room we were in earlier. Uh, I gotta be honest with you, the first time I played through this game, it took me forever to find the correct room we were in. Uh, and I don't think I'm gonna get it the first time either. Was it this one? It was this one. Anyway, there's like six doors here, but it took me forever to realize which room we were actually in the first time. I'll repair the key crest, so just wait at the entrance. Sure, sure. What abs? Oh. Okay, I think this'll do. Just me! Look at all that HP. Almost level 30? Not doing so bad. Alright. Not zealous. So don't need to talk to people here to get free items. I didn't think I'd be giving you your birthday present like this. I've attached a key crest to your necklace. It's late, but it's my present for you. Aw, oh, Colette. Colette, can you hear me? Sad pandas. How is it? It doesn't seem to work. How about asking Dirk for help? But Dirk's in Silver Ant, and the Rayards are out of fuel. Maybe the people here at the Academy might know of a way. Hey, 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 wait just a moment. Aren't you forgetting something? I'm here to keep tabs on you. I can't let you go back to Silverin. Well then, just come along with us, O oh, compassionate chosen one. What? Are you serious? You're kind to of girls, right? Yeah, it's to save Colette. You'll keep quiet about it for us, right? Great, how am I supposed to snitch after hearing that? Okay then, all we need now is fuel. Oh no, the Papal Knights. Chosen, we heard what you said just now. We hereby declare you and your companions to be traitors, attempting to destroy Tetheala. Hmm. <laughs> well, isn't that perfect timing, Mr. Papal Knight? It's by the Pope's orders. We are to watch you for suspicious plot against the throne. Ha! <laughs> now that's amusing. I'm the one who's plotting against the throne. Restrain them. Take a sample and don't touch the angel. If you approach you carelessly, should kill you. Take him what samples here? Ow! What are you doing? Criminals undergo biological tests before they're arrested. It's because of the caste system here. Some half-elves don't look any different from humans. It's necessary to de detect them. Sir, we found a match. Genus, Professor. So you're half-elves? Half-elves? Is that true? This is an awful part of this game. <laughs> That's right. Rain! There's no point in trying to hide it now. These pathetic half-elves have engaged in shameless cast deception. What did you say? <laughs> it's awful, sorry. The professor and genus are much better people than you. Who cares if they're half-elves? I don't know what it's like in your world, but over here, half-elves are at the bottom of the caste system. <laughs> half-elves guilty of crimes are all executed without exception. This is emotional, kinda. Man. Whew. That's insane! Take them away! Professor! Genus! Change in plans. Half-elves can use magic, so we must keep them under heavy guard. We don't have any spare forces. We'll return to the bridge and call for reinforcements as the Chosen and the others just lock them in the basement or something. Right then. Who's there? Don't speak to us, half-elf. Be quiet and continue your work. They're criminals. Hold them here until we return for them. Criminals, if you've had the good fortune of being born human... I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> don't throw it away like that. We haven't done anything. Well, you did try to go back to Silverant. Shut up! Oh no, Perseo. 
Ah, get away! Persea! Yo, Persea! Why are you here? You know Persea? Uh, I see. I... she is... A half-elf in the Imperial Research Academy is acquainted with a human child? That's strange. Why? I told you, half-elves are treated like garbage in this world. The half-elves that work at the Imperial Research Academy never leave their labs, ever. That's insane. Let's put that aside for now. How does a half-elf that never leaves here know Persea? This child is my team's research sample. Research? What kind of research? Research to manufacture the Crucius Crystals inside the human body. You can make Crucius Crystals? Yes, theoretically, they are no different than x -spheres. By allowing them to slowly feed on a human body. What? That's the same way designs make x -spheres. What? What are you talking about? I'm saying, how can you treat people that way? I could ask you the same thing. How can you humans treat half-elves the way you do? I treat them the same as everyone else. There's no difference between human and half-elves. He isn't from Tetheala. He's a strange one who was raised in silver, half elves, and a dwarf. Sheena, how do you know me? How did you know we? I'll explain later. Sheena's and Rain are being taken to Miltokyo. If we go after them now, we should be able to save them. Are you planning on running away? Are you going to try to stop us? He's going to save his half elf best friend. What are you going to do, Miss Half Elf? Uh, I won't let you trick me. There's no way a human would save a half-elf. But Kate, I did hear they arrested two half-elves up above. There's no time. If you're going to get in our way, we'll just have to fight you. Ah, Lord's getting ready to throw down. Fine, I'll let you go if you promise that once you've saved your half-elf friends, you'll come back here. If what you said is true, I'll release Persea from her experiment. You promise? I swear upon the name of the goddess Martel. Don't use that name. Okay. Then come over here. There's a hidden passage. Ah, uh, because these guys never stay inside there. There we go. You can escape to the surface up through this door. Thanks. Hey, we need to head to the bridge. By whose orders was per se experiment carried out? Uh, I can't say. The Pope, then. <laughs> Zealous, come on. I know, I know. Sheesh. Sheena joined her party. Acquired Tetheala map. Oh, well, we better run fast. So they have Genus and Lloyd. Run, 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 run. It almost looks like he has short legs, the way he runs. Maybe not. Tithyala Bridge. Oh, we have to run across this bridge. It's gonna take a while. Dude, hurry along the bridge. Oh, I hope they're all right. Part of the Grand Tithyala Bridge is a drawbridge. If they raise the bridge around us, there'll be nothing we can do. Movement speed reduction resulting from conversation and transit. Yeah, Priscilla is right. We've gotta hurry. Let's go. My eye is burning from watching the screen too much. That must have been awesome. Run, 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 run. Take a nap. Curiosity towards the unknown. Not the time for this conversation. Colette! She really doesn't respond to anything. Hey, you aren't doing anything funny to her, are you? What? Of course not. Because it wouldn't surprise me at all if you did something like that. What do you mean by that? You tried peeking me in the shower before. Ah, uh, peeking at me in the shower. That was just natural curiosity toward the unknown. Oh, brother. This angel transformation definitely doesn't look like something I want to go through. Sheena's spell. You will get better. You will get better. Huh. What are you doing? 
Nothing. I was just wishing Colette to return to normal. Oh, Sheena. You made a friend. I see. I hope she gets back to normal soon. Yeah, me too. Why are we having conversations running across a bridge trying to save Genus and Rain? Better hurry up. Here we go. Something good happens. <sighs> oh no, Genus Rain. Uh oh. The drawbridge is going up. Damn! They're trying to cut us off! Come on! We'll have to jump it! To jump it? Oh, we do have X-Fears. Whoa, whoa, wait! Time out! Are you nuts? Yes. We'll die if we fall from here. And if we abandon them, they'll die too! Let's Let priorities are correct here. Pursuit. Man! Man. I like how Chloe just flew. Undini, that's right! Good thing we got her. That is a great health. Safe landing due to an unknown force. No damage detected. No damage! Look at that. Phew, I thought I was gonna die. You seem so concerned. <laughs> Thanks, Sheena. I'm sure glad I was able to summon her. Excuse me, but Professor Sage and Genus are... Yeah, hurry it up. That's right. We have to save them. Damn! They must have escaped! Oh no, here we go. Give us back our friends! Seriously, why would you take them? Silence. I know why. Let me explain it, but still. What I don't get is why didn't we fight them? Why didn't we fight them inside the research academy? Because they're the same amount of them. Oh, that's right, Perse is here with us. This is our first fight in like an episode and a half. Judgment! Oh, she doesn't even say her spells anymore. That is a cool little uh, tidbit. Sonic Sword Raid. Alright, easy peasy, Palpatine. Uh, you want to go home? I know. We'll take you to AZ. It's way back by side back. Never mind. We won't take you there anytime soon. Lloyd! Everyone! <laughs> you came to rescue us. Of course! You're our friends! The mu sorry, I was listening to music. It is elves. triumphant in the background. So, what's your point? Lloyd! What about the Tethayala half of our group? Do you mind if we join up with you? I'm from Mizuho. We're not exactly mainstream either. We're not that different. To tell you the truth, I can't say I'm really kosher with this. Then again, people have always treated me differently, saying that I'm a descendant of angels. So in a way, we're a lot alike. Learning, I knowing what we know now about angels. If he is I in see. fact descended from angel, he all is right also then. part elf of some sort. By the way, why is Sheena here? Oh yeah, that's right. I have orders from my chief. I'm supposed to observe your activities. That's typical of Mizuho. <laughs> They're trying to decide if they should side with the king or you guys. So now we have two people keeping tabs on us. Two people. But I'm not trying to do anything or get in your way or anything, so... so... We know that already. You're an honest person, perhaps to a fault. <laughs> At this point, I'm okay with anything. Well? Now we just need Sheena to form a pact with Volt, and we can get those Riards working. Ooh, that's right. Volt? Yeah. Sheena? Uh, nothing. Then shouldn't we go get the Riards first? Yeah, probably. Either way, Volt's temple is on the other side of the Grand Tetheala Bridge. It'll be faster if we pick up the Riards, since the bridge is closed off right now. 
But we can't get across still. Pick up. How are you planning on moving those things? <laughs> just leave that to me. I prepared a secret weapon just in case something like this happened. Secret weapon? What secret weapon? It wouldn't be any fun if I spoiled the surprise. Now let's get going to the Fuji Mountains. The Fuji Mountains apparently is where we were when we crash landed. I can't believe we're gonna have to climb that mountain again. <laughs> it wasn't that bad, Lloyd. Half elves and Tetheala. Let's read this here. So Rain and the kid are really half elves. What? Are you going to discriminate against them too? I'm not sure. It sounds like that. I'm sure it sounds like that, but you've got to understand. I've been educated this way since birth. Half elves are stupid, sad, savage, filthy creatures. You! Don't get mad. I'm just stating the common view. Well, I haven't been around them very long yet, but I can see that they're good people, not any different from us. Good. Knowing that, but still being unable to shake the feelings, is what discrimination is all about, though. Some heavy, heavy stuff in this episode. There's a lot about discrimination in this game, and I dropped something off my desk. There's a lot about discrimination in this game, and it's a big subplot in the second half. And we'll get deeper into it, unfortunately, and fortunately, at the same time, it's a good story. There's a lot to learn, there's good characters, good character development. Um, I'm excited to keep going, but as I say right now, this is the end of the episode, this is where we leave off. If you enjoyed your time here at episode 24, go ahead and drop a like, and if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe and ring that bell so you know when videos are going up in the channel. We've had a couple of uh, five episodes things this week, so go back and check out what we posted the past two weeks been good uh i hope you had a great time don't forget you are one in 200 million you are unique you are special you are you and i'm glad that you're here with me and i will catch you next time for tales of symphonia or for bloodborne over on this channel uh go ahead and check that out thank you so much and have a great night or day